So in this video, I'm going to give you five ways you can use to market your business effectively. So number one, create and verify your Google business profile. Okay, let me explain how Google business profile work. So wherever you are right now, if you just type in in Google uh, coffee shop, you see that Google give you a list of all the coffee shops near you. This is because all those coffee shops have created uh, their business profile on Google. And you can also do that no matter how small your business is. So in basic terms, this is how Google business profile work. All right, let's say you do computer repairs and you go and create your profile on Google. So if anyone in your area looks for computer repair services, you come on the list and you are more likely to be called by that person and that's how you get clients. And once you start getting clients that way, ask your customers or your clients to review your business on your Google profile. You can also ask your friends, I'm sure you have a few friends, send a link to them and ask them to review your business. You rank higher on the list or on Google, so you are more likely to get calls if you are high on the list that will be given to potential clients. And number two, create a website for your business. In this digital age, uh, it's very important for you to have a digital presence for your business. So get very high quality pictures put them on your website and explain all the things that you do on your business. The good thing about this nowadays is that you can create a website for free. If you go to sites like Squarespace, uh, sites like Wix, you can create a website without any programming experience. It's just drag and drop. And on number three, use social media. So there are a lot of social media platforms out there, but just focus on Facebook. I know a lot of people are saying Facebook is dying, blah, blah, blah. But trust me, there are still a lot of people that are using Facebook. So just focus on Facebook, create a page on Facebook for your business and optimize it. Put all the information about your business on your page and post pictures, high quality pictures. Get a professional photographer to come to your business to take high quality pictures for you to post on your Facebook page. Because quality attracts clients. Think of it like this. Let's say there are two pages that are doing exactly the same thing but one page is high quality pictures and the other one is low quality pictures. Obviously, the client will go to the one with high quality pictures. So take advantage of that, use high quality pictures. Another way of optimizing your page is by creating events on the page so that you people will come to those events, host events at your business so people can come you post on your page that there's an event that is happening on your business. You put the date and all the information so that people can come to your business. And once they come for the event, they are more likely to buy some of your products. And once you have a Facebook page for your business, you also have to grow that page so that you have more followers. The more the followers, the higher the chance of getting more clients. But how do you increase the number of followers on your page? I'll be making another video in the future on how to optimize a Facebook business page. So be sure to subscribe so that you see all these videos that I'll be posting. Another trick you can do on social media to increase clients is by offering specials. So what you do is on your, in your shop, right? You choose one product to sacrifice to grow your business. And then now you, you take that product pictures and then you post on your page and you say, they are specials at my shop. This product usually it goes for this uh, price, but if you come this week, it will be this much. So the clients will come looking for that promotion. And once they come to your shop, they are more likely to buy more than the product that are on special. And you can also join multiple groups in your community so that every time you post, you also share in all those groups. It's also another way of reaching to more people. And the more people you reach with the product, if your product is good, you are more likely to get clients out of those people that will be in groups. And on number four, old fashioned networking, talking to people. There are a lot of events that will be happening in your community, be it games, uh, be it markets. Go to those markets, go to those events and talk to people, showcase your product. That way you will be able to reach people directly. If you are talking to people, it will be easy for you to convince those people to become your clients. So that's another way that is still working even now in 2023, marketing, oral marketing, talking to people and creating a bigger network for your business. And last but not least, get people's contacts so that every time you get a new product, you contact them telling them about that new product. But how do you get people's contacts? 
So the easy way is by using promotions, whereby uh, people will come, your clients will come and fill in their details, they'll put in their contact details for them to win something. And once you get the, those contacts from people, it will be easy for you now to advertise to them anytime. Once you get a new product, take good pictures and send to those contacts uh, that you'll be having on your list. That is how you create a database of potential clients. And just to add up to the things that we've talked about, be organized and be smart. Your business premises, wherever you're operating, if it's a shop, it has to be smart. Do housekeeping every day. Make sure everything is on point so that when someone comes to a shop, that person will come back again because of how organized your things are and also how smart your shop is. Imagine if you're running, let's say, a food business and I come and I see rates around, it means I won't even buy from your shop and I will definitely tell other people not to come to your shop as well. So you can actually get more clients to come to your shop by being organized and being smart in your shop. So if you have any question, write it in the comment section and we'll definitely come back and answer it. And as always, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've liked this video and if this was your first time coming to this channel, go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you'll see all our future videos. Bye for now and see you on our next video.